Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. Um, back today with the video that was um, requested. Um, so this video is where I'm going to show you how I make my beach, textured beach scenes. Um, the first part of this video is a um, pour and I have a video where I show you how I poured um, probably not this exact one, but similar to it. Um, so I'll link that here because that's the first step and you have to wait until it dries. And um, really, as long as it's dry, you can go ahead and add your beach. Um, but here is one that's done. Um, and this, I added the beach, added some shells and sand and glass. And um, so this one's done. I just have to coat that. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you the mixture I use to hold on, to hold my shells and my sand and everything on. And, um, it's fairly simple. You can do this, um, any way you want. Um, you can use all kinds of stuff. I have shells. I have, um, these stones, these like geode stones I might use. I have some rope, all kinds of stuff. So I got all this on Amazon. So the secret is Elmer's glue. Um, so this is my base for my sand. I already have some mixed up, but I am, I'll show you how I mix it. It's not, there's nothing really, there's no formula to it. Um, it's glue, paint, and sand. And that's it. Um, so I will mix up a little bit in a cup and I'll just show you how I do that really quick. All right, so I just pour in, oh, this is stuck, my glue, my glue. Pour my glue in. All right. Depending on how much you need to make. I make it in batches. Like usually I make a whole cup like this. All right. So that, and then you get whatever color sand you want to make. You want to make pink sand, add pink paint. Um, I'm going to make natural. This is unbleached by Liquitex Basics. I add unbleached titanium. So I'm going to add some paint to that. Let me shake this. Okay. And just depends on how, what, what color you want it. How dark you want it. If you want it really dark, add some brown to it. Add some gold to it. I want it light. I like my beach sand light. Okay. Now there's a couple different things you can add to this. If you don't have access to beach sand, I live by the beach, so I have abundance of it. Um, this is from my beach. I just put it in a bottle. Um, but you can use, there's a few different things you can use. There's this Extra Coarse by Golden, um, Extra Coarse Pumice Gel. I've used that before. Um, there is sand you can buy. And I do ha even have that. Uh, here's, well, here's, I have um, pink sand, but I bought this on Amazon. It's just a fine sand. Um, so yeah, so you have some options of what you wanna use to make your sand. Um, that's really the only thing, the only thing I use to make sand. Um, you can add stones to it. You can add whatever you want to it. All right. But this is a good color for me. I like this color. This one's actually a little darker, but I'll just add this to this. Um, so then you're going to take whatever sand you want to use. I'm going to use this sand and I'm just going to throw my sand in there. Depends on how coarse you want it. Okay, I want it thicker and I want it coarsier. Coarsier, I don't think that's a word. But that's good. And just mix it all up. You can add white to it. You can add whatever color. So now it's more of a gray sand. Because my sand, my beach is like gray. 
All right, but I'm going to add, I'm just going to mix these two together. This is a little darker. All right, but this is what I'm going to use. All right. I mean, that's really the main thing is getting your sand um, the way you like it. Uh, but the secret is the glue. Just putting the glue in your uh, mixture helps hold it on. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this. And this is my sand, okay? So. Okay, so the next thing, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sand on our canvas. Now this was a pour that I did, um, and I, I, I started to do it and then I didn't like it. Um, so I was like, oh, I can, I like the way this looked for the beach or for the, the water. Um, so then I was like, oh, I'll just scrape that and I'll use that. But normally when I pour for these, I won't pour the whole thing. I mean, you can, but I just usually don't. All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see what I'm doing here, okay? So I'm just gonna put this on. You can use whatever you wanna to use to put it on with. I use palette knives, I use the stick. So I'm just gonna lay it down. And I'm gonna kinda make it, you know, uneven, like the edge of the shore, the shoreline. And I put it on pretty thick because I like a lot of texture in it. All right. And don't forget your sides. I always put it on the sides. very thick coat of white sea foam so what I use for that and you can there's like again there's a bunch of different things you can use I have this extra heavy molding paste um, so I'm going to take a little of that in a cup and you're going to add white to it if I can find my white <laughs> Um, that's metallic white. Where's my white? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I have to open one up. So I just have my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I'm going to take a decent amount. the molding paste you can also use I have used in the past this heavy matte gel by golden so there's all kinds of things you can use um, I usually put in because it's me a little glitter so I'm going to add a little 
glitter to that. And then you're going to add white paint. And mix it all up. I put it on, make sure it's all mixed up. Okay, and I just put it on very heavy with my knife, but very heavy. I may not have even mixed enough of it. Oh, I think I did. And you don't have to do this. I like this. It's like the the ocean foam could be thinner in some areas thicker in some areas put some on the sides and I'll like run it through the sand too you know how when the oceans up on the sand you get the little lines of the foam throughout okay So far so good just keep playing with it till you get it how you like it all right so normally um, in here like where the where it's hitting the sand I take um, and in this case I'm going to take some metallic what do I have here rose gold. I don't want rose gold. I want regular gold. Alright, so I have metallic deco art 24 karat gold. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little of this. Shake it first. You can use any kind of gold you want, honestly. And a little paintbrush. Well, if I can find my little paintbrush. This one's probably good. Is that too big? I'm talking to myself, guys. Um, oh, come on. Oh. Jeez. Where are my little brushes? Oh, I used them the other day and I haven't. Alright, well, this one's gonna have to do. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna take a little pour it in my cap or I have a little cup here so I have a little cup I'm gonna pour a little gold just a little and you can actually I could probably do this with a stick too 
So I'm just gonna take the gold. That'll probably be better with a stick. And just almost like a little bit of a shadow. And you could do this later too if you want. Sometimes I do, but I'm kind of just showing you. It doesn't really matter. That's all I'm going to do with that. Okay. Okay. So next we're going to start adding our blingy stuff, right? Our shells, however you want to decorate it. I'm going to, I might use one of these today. What do you think? That one's pretty. Well, that one's pretty too. Let's use that one. So I'm gonna put this somewhere. Push it down. And I'm gonna add some like shells here. pieces and this is where you just get creative with it These little <laughs> tiny baby shells. I'll put some of those in there. I, I usually like overdo it because sometimes they will, if you don't have them down into the sand, they will uh, fall off. So if you have to buy, you know, you have a little extra on there, it's not so bad. But usually most of it stays on with the glue. And if your paint is thick enough.
Okay. What else do I want to put on here, guys? You don't want to overdo it either. You know what I mean? Um, I know what I want. I want some shiny glass. I have some of this clear glass. Some of that on there. We'll go in here. Like mirrors. I think that's going to be enough. And then, just because, you know, you have to have more sparkle, I have my diamond dust. And that I'll, like, sprinkle all over the white. So it shines. And sometimes even in the sand. Alright, so this is very sparkly. And, um, you know. Let me see if I want to put anything else on it. Now, these are some real stuff. I usually try to put at least a piece of real ocean in there. Um, shells that I found on the beach. Yeah. Oh, that's a real shell. I got a whole bunch of real shells here. Let's see. Oh, there's a piece of coral. Uh, what do I want to use? How about this little guy? No. This guy. You know, I usually just try to put in a couple of authentic pieces. piece I have. Extra I like. Alright. And that's, you know, pretty much it. So there's no end of what you can do with it. What you can put in it. Um, but I'll turn it around for you. Alright. So that's my ocean beach scene. Um, hope I have inspired you to try try it and um, have fun with it. Um, so, um, cause I'm probably not going to add this to the video, but I'll just tell you this. So after this is completely dried, I will, I don't use resin on these, I will spray, I spray it. So you'll spray it with, you know, whatever, uh, gloss, this is a UV gloss. Um, nothing's going to hurt it. So you can use whatever spray clear, um, you can use a gloss, you can use a matte, you can use a high gloss, you can use, um, Liquitex, um, what's it called? You can use polyacrylic to seal it, but I usually spray it, especially this part. Um, sometimes I'll just do the polyacrylic on the top. So this is shiny. Um, but this part always gets sprayed. 
just to seal it in. All right. Yep. A little baby shell. So in the morning, this will be like hard. Um, this is all that I did here. You can see it's hard. See. <clears throat> Alrighty. Have a great one, and I will see you all really soon. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. It really help me out. And um, that's it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.